Hey what's up guys this is BMB and here is again a new video and a new special project and this time I've picked up a real needed project for any electronics maker. Today's project is on how to create your own Arduino training platform. This step by step tutorial will be the best guide for you guys to try this project and for sure there are some basic electronic knowledge required out there but do not think twice to try it because it's an amazing one and as usual we start with some project details. Since a quite while now I've been administrating an Arduino Facebook group and I saw for many many times people were asking about what is the best Arduino kit for practicing and from where to get the best deal to start electronics. And a frequent question is about the lack of Arduino kit distributors in some countries. So obviously, there is a problem out there which requires our intervention. And as a maker, I decided to start this tutorial on how to create your own Arduino training platform, especially because this project will help me to avoid the wasted time that I spend on wiring the electronic components to the breadboard each time I try to test my codes. But instead, through having this ready-to-go platform, life will be easier. The idea is so simple, I choose some basic electronic components like displays, LEDs, sensors, controllers and different kinds of actuators and connect them together through a PCB and keep it all the time assembled and ready for action, a kind of plug-and-play method. Talking about the list of features available on our training platform, here are some details. The main component of this platform will be an Arduino Mega 2560, which will be the heart of our training bench since it's the linker of all the used components, keeping the signals moving all the way from the sensors and controls to the actuators and indicators. I've used some displays like a 20x4 LCD display and a 7 segment 4 digits display. About the inputs of our platform, we have an 8 switches bar so we can control some indicators using these switches without forgetting these two double axis joysticks that has double axis control and a push button. Talking about the indicators, I've included 8 red LEDs and 2 RGB LEDs and also we have a buzzer there which makes playing with this platform funnier. The sensors are also present out there through the temperature and humidity sensor and the gas detection sensor. For the actuators, I decided to insert all type of motors, this is why I've placed a stepper motor plus a servo motor and two DC motors. For the connectivity of our platform, I've included a Bluetooth module in case you want to test an Android app installed in your smartphone, so this way it will be much easier for you. For sure there is some integrated circuit drivers needed to control these components like the MCP23017 to drive the LEDs and L293H bridge for controlling the DC motor speed and direction. Also I'm using an A4988 stepper motor driver. In order to assemble all the mentioned parts together, we require a PCB to establish the right connection from the Arduino board to the indicators and sensors. So I've created this circuit diagram which is available for free through the link in the description below. After making the appropriate connection for each component, I have transformed this schematic into a PCB design to produce it later. You can find in the description of this video all the required data that indicates the pinout of our platform and you can get also the gerbo file of this PCB design to create your own Arduino training platform. The next step is producing this PCB, so I moved to check GLC PCB manufacturers of PCBs who offer the cheapest price for my design and the fastest delivery service since I've waited for 4 days only to receive my order. All what you need to do is upload the Gerber file of the PCB and pay less than $14 to place the order. And as usual, I've checked the design finishing which is really impressive and also we've got all the labels printed clearly on the PCB to indicate the placement of each component.
Before I start soldering the electronic components, I will show you this box that I designed using SOLIDWORKS software which allows me to generate ADXF files to upload them in a CNC laser cutting machine in order to produce the designed box. We used a 5mm MDF wood material to create this box which will add a better appearance to our project, especially with its labels and titles and it will be easier for us to take this training platform with us everywhere we go. Moving now to the assembly of the electronic parts, so let's review first the needed items for this project. We will use the PCB that we have ordered from GLC PCB, one Arduino Mega 2560, a NAMA 17 stepper motor, two DC motors, one servo motor, one LCD display, one seven segment display, eight red LEDs, two RGB LEDs, one buzzer, a switch bar, two joysticks, DHT11 sensor, gas sensor, Bluetooth module, MCP2307 integrated circuit, a 4988 stepper motor, L293 motor driver, some seal heater connectors, some screw heater connectors, a fuse, some resistors and capacitors, the training platform box, some screw for the assembly. We move now to the electronic assembly and we solder all the components to the PCB. You will find on the top silk layer a label of each component indicating its placement on the board and this way you will be 100% sure that you will not make any soldering mistakes. Now we move directly to the assembly of the box. It's so simple since we created the screw placement in the design. All what you need to do is screwing the PCB to the bottom side of the box in the first step of the assembly. Then we screw the motors each one its placement on the top side of the box.
Last but no least, we connect the motors to them screw heaters on the PCB. And finally, we finish screwing the other sides of the box. Now we have everything ready to start playing with this platform and I decided to test some codes like incrementing the 7 segment display value and turning the stepper motor. The LCD is also working fine so you can see this display message as well. As you see guys making this amazing project is so handy and following the steps of this tutorial makes it easy for any one of you guys to try it. I will show you in the coming tutorials the programming part of each component and how to control all these components using the Arduino board. The description of this video will be updated by the appropriate links that you need. As usual, you can write down your suggestions if you have any other ideas to improve this project and share with us your own training platforms. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was BMB from Megadas. See you next time.